One of my greatest joys in life is when I get up in the morning and the cats come running to me and say, Daddy, Daddy, you're up. And I, I just love animals. And it's difficult when an animal needs a medication because you can't reason with a cat. And when you have to try to give a cat a pill, they become pointy on five ends. They have four sets of claws and one set of teeth. They use all their, all their five ends to resist that tablet. So we have to come up with innovative ways sometimes to help administer that medication to that animal. We love Keystone, to be honest with you, because our pets don't enjoy medications that are bubblegum flavored or cherry flavored, as the typical preparations are from the pharmacy. So Keystone does a wonderful job coming up with novel formulations for the medications we need to treat our patients. We use them pretty much exclusively for our compounding. They, they um, always respond to our unique requests and come up with fantastic ways to, to meet the needs of our patients. Since I've been at Keystone Pharmacy, we've treated cats, dogs, snakes, reptiles, lions, capybara, rabbits. We've treated many birds, including the most beautiful parrot that, that, that I've ever seen, just an amazing parrot. The process works the same with the animals as it would for a human patient. You know, the prescriptions are called in, they go back to the lab, they're filled, um, you know, we, we, we dispense it to the patient, we counsel them the same way we would any other patient. So, so they're no different than any human patient that walks through the door. We can often take a drug that's not available in a dosage form that a, a, an animal can take and put it into a form they can. For example, we make a really stinky, awful smelling triple fish suspension base it's made with salmon, sardines, and tuna. We, we actually go to Costco, we grind up the salmon, sardine, and some tuna, uh, we put them in a blender, we preserve them, and that becomes what we start with. So to us, it smells really bad, but to a kitty, it's perfume. And I have owners tell me that when they open the, the refrigerator door and they go to pull that medicine out of the fridge, the cat comes running because it's a treat. So what used to cause the owner claw marks all over their arm, now becomes a treat for the kitty cat. One of the reasons that we love Keystone is because we can call them and say, I have a two and a half pound kitten and I need to administer this medication that I can only find in 100 milligrams per pill and that's simply not going to work. And Keystone is great at, at coming up with really neat new ways of, of putting that small dose into an appropriate medication that the owner can give. You know, it's one thing for me to, to consider cutting a pill into 100 pieces, but that's not very practical. Keystone takes care of that for us. Each pet is unique, just people. Our pets are very unique in, in the best way to get medications um, into them. And, and the medications that we use, and our pets are living a lot longer than they ever did, and part of that is because we've done a very good job of, of, of taking some of these medications that are not typically used in cats and dogs and formulating them in such a way that they can be beneficial and really extend the life of the pet in a happy fashion, and the owners are thrilled when they can um, have a medication that's easy to administer. I think that the one thing that's important to us is that, that everybody realize that, that an animal patient deserves just as much concern and care as a human patient does. And that's important to us, to make sure that they get the best care possible the same way we give the best care possible to our human patients.